All right, so uh, again, I just remembered one thing. Like I said, it, 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 it's, it's going to come to me. All right, so here's one, another trip up. See what I'm saying? Remember the phrase, he tried to trip me up. I ain't talking about literally. And nobody said it's not just people in the media and people in the White House or I seen in, in, in the comment section. Nobody in this, and and I tried to, to express what I was saying. Remember the phrase he tried to trip me up. Meaning meaning, you know, with a question. Tried to, you know, just just trip me up, trip you up. Oh, he tried, you know, and we say it all the time. He tried to, oh, you just trying to trip me up, nigga. Said you can't trip me up. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it is like now they, you know, got your question. It's it's got it, like, you know, it, and that's not it. And trip me up, or trip, you know, he tried to trip. That's not an ethnic phrase, you know, a hood phrase or. That's something everybody would say. Back in the day, you know, he tried to trip, you know, like an inspector or, you know, at the job or, again, well, we'll go back to the hood. The the inspect, the, the, the lady from DHS or Section 8 or Project, you know, uh, you know, he tried to trip me up. Yeah, they asked me all day. He tried to trip me up. You know, it could be too, yeah, girl, she tried to trip me up, you know. About if that man be staying here, you know, if they in the projects, shit like that. And I don't hear that no more. Why that phrase disappear? They're like, why is that such a big? Because remember, I was trying to explain the one of the reasons I knew what they were doing when, especially by the time the impeachment scam uh, bullshit came out, uh, scam. You know, I'm like, that's the same thing, you know, they asked, no, and they, then I saw people, you know, they they started, oh, they asking gotcha questions, and it's like, it's way simpler, remember we just used to say, trip me up, they tried, it didn't matter who you was, a guy, female, it could be at work, it could be, uh, uh, you know, your, your, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, they at, basically they're asking you questions, trying to trip you up. You know, it could be about the police, you know, whether it's about a major crime, whether it's about bullshit, you know, trying to trip you. You know, he tried to trip me up. It, 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 you know, it, 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 it just, you know, like a light it just snapped on a couple of like that. I mean, you know, I couldn't put in the words. And I knew it was something I'm like, why can't I explain it? And I saw them people, you know, they're talking, oh, they're asking, you know, they came up with another phrase, got your questions. And I'm like, yeah, that that kind of basically sums it up, but it still didn't feel like what I was trying to say. And the old phrase, the original phrase, is you tried to trip me up. You know, it could be a parent talking to their child. You know, and you telling your other your sibling. You know, once you get it, because you you the oldest, and you stayed out late, and they asked you in the morning. You know, they tried to trip me up. You know, you know the curfew was at eleven o'clock. You know. And yeah, mom tried to trip me up, but yeah, she asked me, how did you get home? You know, yeah, that, or this and that, you know, but yeah, trip me up. And see what I'm saying? And they trying this shit, but see, that's what, that's the whole point. What are they doing to all of us that we're not, you know, remembering? And like I said, nobody is saying, even in the comments sections, you know, like, oh, they tried to trip them up or they tried to trip, you know, uh, the speaker, you know, this and that, you know, not, not, not none of the Democrats, they're the ones behind this nasty shit, but, uh, you know, you know, nobody is using the phrase, they tried to trip them up, and, and like I said, you, you know, even, like, one of the reasons everybody started responding, not everybody, to Trump is because he didn't take that shit, you know, he put them on the spot, like I said, I, that's something I don't possess. You know, that might be something a lot of us possess. You know, that's one of them things you think about it later. Man, I, you know, especially back in high school, you know, a good comeback. I wish I would have thought of it right then. You know, you think of it later. Yeah, I should have said this and that. You know, and you're like, how does that qualify? If that's not because we see these people. It does qualify because these people are on a level to destroy the country. And he's immediately putting them in that spot where they can't say anything immediately and we where all of us can see clearly 
except for the people who either are part of it or either just been so brainwashed. See what I'm saying? And so it's not like, because uh, remember a couple of years ago at first, 2016, oh, he's going to, this and that, he's disrespectful. And, 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 you know, most of us, we saw from the beginning. I did. I just did, you know, that, wait a minute, that, that, that reporter or, or that, that Democrat, that, that, he's not being disrespectful. They, they did, just like I keep saying, that them's are the rules. You know, now I'm being facetious. Them's the rules, you know, D-E-M-S, you know, not Democrats. Instead of them, them's the rules. Them are the rules, man. Them the rules. You can't talk shit and expect not somebody not... And it's way deeper than talking shit. You know, you have to be, that's on their level, you know, a Pelosi or Adam Schiff is talking shit. Or an ambassador, you're talking shit. And then get mad when he puts you in your place. Not because he's the president and you can't talk to the emperor. No, it's because you, you can't do that to nobody in our country. You can't accuse and downgrade and denigrate somebody's position, Period. I could be the, the, the car washer. You know, we don't have to say, yes, yes, sir. I, you know, you're going to say, no, I did. You know, you didn't put the, the mint, you didn't spray mint in my car. This and that. You know, seriously. Oh, yes, I did. Because this whole place is taped. You know, you see that? You saw, you know, I, I did all that. I did every, I wipe, oh, you didn't wipe down my, my rims like you, you know, the, the, you know, yes, I did. This whole place is taped. You know, you put a, I'm not lying, you know, and you're wrong for stepping out of line like that. You're lying on me trying to get me fired. You can't do that. These motherfuckers literally think they could cancel anybody with bullshit. And we're not supposed to, they, that's what I'm saying. That's, it, that's where they came through with all that Me Too shit. That's, that's why I said they came through with that Me Too movement. Because they thought it was, you know, basically they put women and children in front of them as a human shield. That's the Me Too movement. So they thought it was so, you know, oh, we got to put our guns down because you picked up a woman. And so because you hiding behind that woman, you could lie on me and get me fired and say, oh, it's because he did this. And I'm a woman. You can't you can't investigate. He did this and that. You see what I'm saying? Cowards. And, you, and no, people are like, no, you, you're an enemy combatant. You knew what you were doing. You you the coward. When you get to hell, you going to know why. It's like, but you're the one who pulled the trigger. No, you're the one who, who who's a soldier who started this shit. You're the motherfucking soldier who hit. You know what you signed up for. It don't matter what country you fight for. I don't care if it's you're you you you're not part of the U.S. military or any major country. You part of that militia. You a fucking soldier. I don't give a damn. You know, the only maybe exceptions are them child soldiers. You know, the ones who were kidnapped. You know. And they made to be a soldier, but the rest of us, nigga, you you signed. Even if you didn't sign, like I said, you you 16 and you you want to be part of. You got your AK 47 and y'all you doing push ups, and doing this and that maneuvers. You might not got the money a major country has, but you signed your ass on the dotted line to join Al Qaeda or whatever the fuck it is. And these niggas right here. Right here in America, y'all, y'all homegrown terrorists. You're a fucking soldier. The woman too. You're a female soldier. Don't try to hide behind Me Too and all the Me Too movement. No, you're a fucking enemy combatant. <laughs> so like I said, when you get to hell, wonder why? Because you hid behind infant and children and women. You hid like a coward. And even, well, I'm a woman too, but you're a female soldier. You can't get to use human shields. You know, you can't hide behind. It didn't make it so bad. You hid behind a human, another female. You hid behind a female, but still wanted to shoot. You know, you pointing your gun and shooting, and you hiding behind. You can't do that. You the one going to burn for that. And, you know, another thing I wanted to talk about, again, you're like, you still going on about that movie? You just saw, yeah, another scene that was kind of weird. I was like, you know, just one scene. That kind of made no sense. Like, what the fuck? That that wasn't hard, right? It was the the father, you know, one of the supposedly throughout the whole movie, the big one of the big catalysts for him being ended up on his life sentence was his father. All right, so at one scene, he sees his father gun somebody down, but technically, 
what I'm saying is, I don't understand how they wrote this. So, so the father was a cokehead, not crack, coke. One thing is like, how, where, where this nigga get the money to do coke instead of crack? <laughs> you know, but that's, that's a whole another story. Because he literally, you know, it was the same scene. You know, the the baby mama, his wife. You know, they see you need to get it. You know, we got the lights finna get cut off. All that shit. You know, the same old story. So it's like, how the fuck this nigga afford coke instead of crack? He a cokehead. You know, sniff. But anyway, so at one scene. He goes to handle his business. Oh, it make it so bad, the dude playing the father is the dude from Westworld. The light-skinned dude uh, is him. You know, Westworld, this nigga hard as fuck in this movie. He, uh, uh, you know, so he goes to get his money back. You know, he first he on the phone, like, nigga, you owe me, you know, I want my money. I don't give a fuck you got, you, if you, I got miles to feed too. Yeah, I, all that makes sense, all right? Cool. So, but what don't make sense is once he goes to confront him, you know, he hangs up the phone. I'm feeling, you know, he goes to confront that nigga that owe the money. And the dude that owe money, you know, he says, didn't I tell you, you must be hard to hear. I told you, I'm not finna give you my rent money for you to do drugs with. And I'm like, this makes it. You're like, that does make sense. And then, 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 no. Where that comes from, if you've been in the, at the hood, air quotes, that comes from with somebody, it could be a relative, whoever, will say that. I'm not finna, because first of all, you more than likely, you didn't gave them money before. That, and I, that's what I've been talking about. Uh, you know, I've been talking about it not all the time. You didn't gave them money, you know, and they told you it's for a light bill or anything. And you found out they took it to do drugs, buy drugs. Yeah, you can say that. And that, so now they keep come, they coming back and uh, still begging you for money, trying to make you feel. Remember, I cut, that's what I said. That's why I, remember I said I figured out their socials. Okay, but for some reason in this weird ass movie, I've never seen this shit in real life, never seen it in any type of movie of any ethnicity. This whole is a totally new scene. This whole scene is totally new. The dude says, I'm not finna give you my rent money for you to do drugs. You're like, so what? That's okay. He's a drug it. You're not. You didn't listen. You know. I. I know y'all like what? What? Is, or, or either you understand what I'm about to say. He owed the dude the money. <laughs> it doesn't matter what he's finna do with the money. First of all, it's like, well, he. I guess he, he's a cokehead. But what drug addict loans out money? So this drug and what person acts a drug addict for money? So he owes the drug addict a hundred dollars, but doesn't want to pay him back because his rent is due, and he knows the guy. So like he says, I'm I my this I need this hundred for my rent, and I'm not finna give it to pay you back your money because you're just gonna do drugs with it. It is like I never said it didn't blow my mind. It's like who the fuck wrote this? That makes no sense. You can, I don't give a fuck what he does with it. He could be going to the track. He could be going, you know, the, the gamble. He could be going to shoot up heroin. It does. It's his money. Bottom line, you owe that dude. You borrow. You cannot. So I'm pretty sure when you came to him and asked for that hundred, you told him I'm gonna pay you next Friday. You can't go. I ain't gonna pay you back because you gonna do. Yeah, and you knew your rent was due. You knew your rent would be due next Friday. But you borrowed the money anyway. You're like, why are you going off? About? I've, just, I've just never seen that ever in real life or a movie. I've never seen nobody buck up and try to be tough and tell somebody, I'm not going to give you the money I owe you that I borrowed because you're going to do it. doesn't matter if he's going to do whatever. Do drugs. Fucking, you know, like I said, gamble, you know, pay his bills, buy his kids, you know, shoe, food. It doesn't matter what he does with it. It's his money. You owe him. And I'm like, who the fuck? That's not tough. I'm tough. And so, yeah, in the movie, the dude, the uh, crackhead, or the, well, he wasn't crack, uh, Westworld ends up shooting him, you know. And uh, it's kind of like, yeah, I never seen that one. No, like, who, you know, at the most, you would say, bro, I just ain't got it. Give me another couple of days, you know, and you might even know he's just on you because he wants to get high. 
It doesn't matter. It's his money. You shouldn't have borrowed money from a, a, a drug addict. <laughs> you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't get that. I, you know, you be like, hey, man, just please give me the next Friday. You know, something. Instead, he get, he bucks up. I ain't finna give you your money back so you can get out. It's my rent money. No, that's not a justification, bro. I don't care how you think you justified. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't know what they're trying to, I don't know. You can say that's not part of the agenda, but I think it is. Again, it's like, yeah, like the person that hit me. Again, you hit somebody, not you have an accident. Maybe you don't know who's the fault, but you're clearly in the fault. And it's like they're trying to promote this thing where people just don't do the right thing. It was like, like I said, at one time I was going to work. And uh, I went to, to the fast food place. And the reason I brought this up is because they, they did street theater about it maybe three weeks ago. I was in another, you know, getting gas. And again, a woman, a woman, black woman, she comes in. And she said, I have a, a, a card, you know, like a shell card or BP card. And she, instead of, you know, I'm sitting there thinking you, you, you normally you would just use it at the pump and you, you type in the numbers, but okay. So I noticed, and, and surely enough, she comes in and tells the guy, not, not, not like I knew, but she's in front of me and she, and they go through the motions and, you know, finally it doesn't work, whatever it was. Either she came in with some bullshit that wasn't, a, either was a card was already used, but she already had gave him her debit card. And so she just says, give me a refund. You're know, like, that's just, no. First of all, I've never said that. You're like, you did, that's the whole, no. Maybe just from, I've been a cashier before, or common sense, I would just say cancel it and leave. You know, I'd make sure they cancel it. The word reads, you don't say give because you didn't do it. You didn't buy anything. He rung it up and you tried to do your, you know, discount, shell discount, and it didn't work. And so you decided not to buy the gas, apparently. But she says, remember, because I said in another gas station, and this, I, I said in one of my videos, I said they did that with, two, it was two black women behind the counter. You don't get it. And the dude, make it so bad, he didn't even buy anything. He, he was supposed to be asking a question. He said, if I buy this, can I get a refund? And the girls was like, yeah, you, we don't give out refunds. And I'm like, yes, you do. If, if the dude, I don't know, maybe about gas stations, but I never seen nobody ask. I never asked for a refund at a gas station, whether it's because you bought gas or whether you bought snacks. You don't buy much in a gas station that you need a refund for. You bought some snacks, you bought a soda, you know, something else. The gas station don't sell much. I ain't never seen nobody ask for a refund. So I don't know what it was. I you know, where they thought it was a a good place to, to mock me at a gas station. Because, like I said, the reason I asked for a refund, remember I told you, it's totally different. I was on the way to work. And I said, well, let me get something to eat. Because, you know, it was nighttime. It's a night shift, eight hours or whatever. He said, let me, you know, get something to eat. And I stopped. And this was just uh, last year. And, and, and it was, matter of fact, the fast food place right across the street from here. So before I hit the highway, let me stop. Yada, yada, yada. And I ordered what I ordered. And I, and I said this before. I don't know what's up with these gang stalk. It, like I said, it's about control. They, and for some reason, they're so fucking mad. You know, like you order the same thing. Because other TIs, other targets will say, don't try to, try to, uh, you know, vary your routine. And I you know, fuck that. I'm going to do what I do. I'm not finna, you know, for these stupid bitches. I'm going to record them. But I'm not going to try to purposely do shit different if i order the same fucking fast food i'm gonna order the same fucking fast food fuck these little stupid bitches you know what and so anyway i went in there and this is how i knew it was you know they did it on purpose because matter of fact one time the person another person i was at work with you know he he basically like i said he he yeah he didn't like you know, the, the type of uh, food, I don't, uh, you know, then he tried to sound, oh, well, uh, it's, it's all fast food is fattening or bad for you, you know, even, you know, whatever, the ones, the, you know, the, the, the healthy menu, you know, all that bullshit, you know, so it didn't matter, but the point was, it was what I ordered, so, like I said, they took it, and you can say, well, it's because she was only, you know, a young girl, 18, 19, 20, no, 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 bitch, when I worked, like I said, when I was, I was a teenager, Still in high school. So, 
Don't tell me. And that's why I get my opinion. Like, no, I know for a fact it doesn't matter if it's the same chain. When you're running out of something, it might not even be the same food. You, you know, whether it's tacos, hamburgers, chicken, you know, they're different restaurants. You're running out of certain things, you let people know. Especially if you're up front. Hey, we short on, hey, drop some of this, drop some of that. You ain't got to be the manager. The manager tell you that. Let us know. You know, so anyway, and they take the money. Uh, and and then you know they walk off, and that's how you know it's gang stalking shit. They come back with a stupid fucking smile. Oh, we don't have, and I'm like, okay, well, how long will it? T- oh, it's gonna be 15 minutes. Like I said, I gotta be to work. You know, ain't no big deal. It's a temp service job, but still, I it's personal. I don't show up late. I'm like, wait a minute, no, would you give my give me a refund? And these motherfuckers got mad about that. You know, like the the the, the he was a white manager. He you know he he didn't act mad. He actually did it. But what I'm saying, even up to recently, they're still on that refund shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck, because I guess they were mad about trying to make me do something. And like, like I'm being smart, getting out of punishment. You know, a smart ass. Like, bitch, first of all, we're grownups. We're Americans. You don't fucking punish people. You know, you don't tell me. I mean, stupid ass niggas. They said this shit type of shit, not did to deal with this. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I said. That Why it's so weird. Not weird, but you know how this whole thing is a scam? That all these niggas, just like them old folks that just walked by, they're so compliant with this so-called scam of uh, quarantine and wearing a mask and wearing the gloves. But y'all want to tear shit up. And I ain't talking about them old folks, but I'm talking about black folks and niggas, period. Y'all don't give a fuck about what the police, the governor say any other time. You want to tear up the city. But all of a sudden, you with this shit. Y'all just complied as fuck. But you see now, ain't nobody wearing hardly wearing gloves. You remember a couple of, a week ago, you know, they was all out here. Everybody, gloves, all the gloves up, mask up, you know, gloves and masks and shit. They even had one of their gang stalkers when they was talking to me, use the phrase gloves up and masked up, you know. And I'm like, bitch, you know, you got to be stupid as fuck, you know. I mean, literally, you know damn well you didn't hear that nowhere. Yeah, they're all glad, gloved up and masked up. Bitch, you don't even talk like that. 